In this video, we are going to look at how to calculate material volumes from a civil 3D corridor. Uh, in my screen, I have a profile view where I have a profile and I have the assemblies here and I have a corridor and also I have sample lines created. If you are going to calculate materials, you need to have sample lines created and as well as a, a corridor. So, I will move on to my assemblies first. I have two assemblies, but they are more or less identical. Just the only difference is the uh, drain here at the edges. We have a concrete drain and we have a drain. So, in this video, I am going to calculate these structural material volumes. Structural material means the materials uh, which we have defined thickness mostly we have a defined thickness for structural materials here in this case i have a lane then i have a shoulder in both these cases i have uh, four layers first one is the wearing course second one is the binder course third one is the base and final is the uh, sub base so i have four layers so i am going to calculate uh, the quantities of each of these layers using civil 3d quantity calculation so in both these assemblies you have the same layers so before calculating the materials we know we need to know what type of material we have even though i say this is wearing course this is buying the course like that but in civil 3d they may have separate name for that so i will click this assembly and go to if you click this sub assembly and go to sub assembly property then here in the parameters tab you can see what are the materials here so we are in course it is given as pave 1 then binder course it is given as pave 2 this one then base depth or base course is given as this one it is 0.2 and this one sub base we have 0.25 at the bottom but not only that you need to go to code step and verify what are the shape codes we have because in material quantities we are assigning shape codes to calculate material so i'm going to the shape codes tab and go to shapes and expand that one it will show what kind of shapes you have for wearing course it is pave one for binder it is pave two for base it is base and for sub base it is sub base so you need to match these names to your materials here the material quantities so i will close this one so all since so yes a small notification coming okay. so uh, all these cases i have similar kind of uh, sub assemblies so the materials will be similar in all cases so now i'm going now i am going to calculate material i press escape here then i go to here in my corridor and go to go and click a sub assembly click a sample line so it will give you an option to calculate materials or compute material otherwise you can go to analyze tab here and go to computer compute materials both are same so i am going with the sample line option so i go here and click compute materials and it will give you the alignment and sample line if you have multiple alignments and multiple sample line groups you have to select the correct one but i have only one here so i click ok so you can see it automatically suggests some corridor shapes but in my case you can remember we had four shapes but here it will only suggest uh, three shapes so i will only use first one fragment material and assign this shape code and I am not going to assign the other course and I will click OK because I need to add another uh, payment shape for the uh, binder course this is for wearing course so I will do it later since to do that I will only assign one material and click OK it will say you have only assigned one materials so uh, you have to assign the others also but I will skip that part and click OK so it will uh, calculate some material concrete inside civil 3d and 
after that one i will compute i will select the sample line and go to compute material again and after clicking ok it will give you a material list now since i have used pavement material only it will only show this one now i am going to add the other materials uh, to this list first this is the final corridor pave one which is wearing course i will change this name as uh, wearing course then i will add a new material now before uh, bind the course so i click add new material i change this name as bind the course then to add the shape code to this one you will need to first make this quantity type structures because i told you these are structural materials then you have to go to data type here and set it corridor shape then we have to select the shape correct shape code here for wearing code so for buying the course it is pave 2 so i will click to add that pave 2 material to bind the course then it is okay uh, if you need you can uh, add the correct shape style also here here it is given as pave then you can add another pave 2 style or something like that let us say pave 2 style so you can set the shape style if you like to uh, see them in the section views then i will go to add new material again this time i will add the base course and in the same manner i will uh, add the base course and i will change the material type to base here and again finally i will add the sub base Now I have added all the materials and I will change this as well for sub base and I click OK. So I have completed calculating the materials but the next thing is we need to in a uh, Excel view uh, or show them in a uh, correct view because all the calculations have taken place in a uh, civil 3D uh, interface but we need to take the output so to get the output you need to select a sample line then go to generate volume report so you can set what kind of report you can get so here you need to select select a style sheet and go here and go to select material then you have to click ok So once you click OK, you will get this kind of uh, message. So you have to click Run or Yes, and click Yes again. So it will give you the material volume table here. So it will give you uh, the area and quantity of each material, and it will add the cumulative volumes at the uh, corner column. So you can see each each. Uh, stage sample line station you have the area as well as the included volume and finally the uh, accumulated volume so you can go to the bottom and if you can see how much you have uh, as a material quantity how much quantity you have for each material by the of course we have this much of material these are in cubic meters so you can see uh, what kind of uh, material quantities you have so if you need more uh, to do more with these things you can copy this into an excel or spreadsheet and do more modifications uh, according to your desire so that is how to calculate uh, structural volumes or material quantities in civil 3d uh, mainly in this video we calculated the structural volumes or uh, defined material thickness volumes in the next video we will look at how to calculate uh, cut and fill volumes or otherwise earthwork volumes uh, in civil 3D corridors.